Hey everybody, in this video we're going to just show a quick addendum to the intro to Google Meet. Uh, in this one we're just going to talk about sharing your screen a little more in depth. So if I want to still see the people that I'm talking to in my video when I'm sharing my screen, there's a couple things we can do. So first off, I'll show you just what I did in the last video, which would be presenting my entire screen. So you may notice I have two screens. That's because I have an additional monitor. So that kind of makes my life a lot easier if you are, you know, lucky enough to have that technological capability. Good for you. <laughs> this will be a lot easier for you. But if you just have a laptop and that's all, then you're only going to have one screen to choose from. Um, so if that's the case, normally what you're going to see is this, right? And so some issues that people were having would be if you go to another tab where someone sees it, um, you can't see the people in the meeting with you. So here's a quick way that we can alleviate that problem. I'm just going to take this tab here and I'm clicking and dragging and that's going to create a new window. And I'm just going to make my window smaller, like so. And I'm gonna have to go into meet here again and then click on this to bring it to the forefront. So now, uh, Mr. Will should be able to see both this document and himself and me in the corner. Uh, but then I can see him too. So that's really helpful. So maybe if you're teaching a lesson, you can be sharing what you're doing on this window while also looking at your class over here. So that's one option of sharing your screen. Let's stop presenting here. The other option would be to have a window already up and open and you can just share only that window. So maybe if you don't want your students to see everybody off to the side, maybe you only want them to see the information you're presenting. In that case, we're going to go to present now and then just select a window. And I have this off of my screen right now. So I'll just drag it over so you can see it. So I've got this showing right here. Um, so now Mr. Will only sees the DGF website and I can just cover that up. So this is the only window that he sees, but I can still see him over here. All right. And that should be the two ways that are going to benefit you the most as you are presenting your lessons to students on Google Meet. So thanks for watching.